Stephanie. Oh, hello, Pavla. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm sketching here one of my favorite spots. Oh, can I sort of look over your shoulders? Yes, now it's the best time with the shadows to do sketching here, architecture sketching. You have to do a grid. It's uh, first a very simple one. What's the most important thing is that you have the shadows. It has not to be really perfect. It's just the shadows is very important. Okay. When you put it later for the proper, uh, on the proper canvas or watercolor painting, and the shadows are important because it gives the three dimensions. And why did you choose this place? It's one of the oldest uh, Venetian wells here. It's it's showing uh, the typical influence of the Venetians. They had been here in Corfu for more than 400 years, from 1386 until 1397. And uh, I live here already 33 years and uh, I'm in love with this nostalgic places. And it shows the atmosphere. So will you teach your students over here at this place? Yeah, or? that's now a project I would like to start to teach uh, people, even if they can't draw, to do sketching, simple sketching. And uh, after I would like to invite you to my atelier, and it's just around the corner. And there I thought we could go also with my guests, if they like to learn painting, uh, to do the coloring there, either watercolor or acrylics. I can show you also my work, my paintings. Perfect, let's go. Yeah, wonderful. In my little atelier, it's also the place where I'm living. And as you can see, I have a lot of paintings I'm preparing now my exhibition. So here, I'm a realistic painter and um, what I like especially is pleasant colors, smooth colors, and I love nature, that's why I live also in Corfu. I love the culture, as you can see, the subjects. For example, what I like is a challenge is to mix techniques. I developed this technique, the statues, the Greek statues are quite known, with acrylic and sands, because it's statue. I love the personality of Frida Kahlo. And when I do portraits, I would like to present the character. Here is the melancholic version, a bit like the blue period of Picasso I was singing about. And up is more the floral style, the romantic style of Frida Kahlo. Yeah, then I do also nostalgic corners of the Greek villages. For example, this one here is in Pelikas. I would like to present the atmosphere. And I love a lot of white flowers, as you can see. And this is also my technique that I developed. It's gouache on parcel paper. Gouache is a mixture like it looks like pastel, mm -hmm. but then after you use the pencil on the pen with water, and then it's on the end a bit like watercolor. Okay. And uh, here the atmosphere a bit in the olive grove, because the olive groves in Corfu are amazing. The most of the trees are 500 years old. Yeah, and uh, donkey as well has not to be missed. <laughs> Everybody loves my donkeys. I had even once a big order. I can show you for a villa. It was a huge painting and uh, these are the donkeys. And I do also wall paintings okay. for restaurants with writing. It's quite fashion now. Then this is a real fresco. Here I did restoration of a 200 year old ceiling that was in a shop here in the center of Cover Town. Mm -hmm. And I love also, of course, Venice. These are watercolor paintings. Stephanie, you told me you have three main projects for this year. So tell me about them. The first of all is I like to do exhibitions. The second one is I hope I get some orders as I did in villas and uh, I'm able to do everything like wall painting or fresco or on canvas, whatever they wish. I mean, I'm a realistic painter, but I can do also modern stuff. I mean, my variety is, okay. I did a lot of things. And a new project I would like to do is this year um, to have guests here in my showroom for a welcome drink. I can give also insider information where they can go, where it's beautiful but also to give uh, drawing lessons, drawing lessons, painting lessons, that you have your personal souvenir of the island. So if somebody comes to Corfu, or before they come to Corfu, they can contact you, and how long would it take such a lesson? And the best is um, not to be under stress, I think two to three hours. Okay. So you can do already a sketch, and then you have a small painting as well, and we're going to 
do the coloring here in atelier. Exhibitions, orders, and lessons. Yes. So we have the landscape here of the mainland of Greece, Epirus. And when you do watercolor paintings, you start light and then you become darker because you put always one color on top of the other one. Acrylic is exactly opposite. So mostly you start to moisture with just with water first, the sky. I put fine lines for the landscape. And the mountains, they have peaks, so it's more sharp, and the hills, they are softer. And if you like to have clouds, don't put water there where you like to have the clouds. So first, water it. And then, you add the blue, and then it floats. You see? So where you like to have clouds, you don't put color. start to do the mountains you go down or you can do also already the sea from underneath but the sea don't water it so you can do some lines and it's getting darker and darker when you put another color on top and we like to have some waves with foam you leave some space for the white lines but you have to wait until it's dry the color on the sky so what we could do now don't do the mountains not yet we can do the hill because the hill is more greenish and then you go on top again it's bright green but then you go on top again and some beige as well you can add to give it a little bit of structure. So this is just the start. And on the end, it can look like this. You do it step by step. 